Now this is what I've been waiting to do. You get when you get some of the best hitters in the game, one of the best hitters in the game. You want to talk hitting, right? We want to talk hitting, and you're you're a guy I really want to talk talk to because, you know, you're on top of the dish. Sometimes that middle of the way pitch, you drive to center. Sometimes you pull it to right center. You know, in that approach. Take us through why are you on top of the plate so much, and what's your approach when you when you when you're on it. I think it all, again, depends on the situation and the pitcher and whatnot, but. Most of the time, yeah, I'm, I'm right up on there because I want this pitch. I want a pitcher to be able to throw here, which is, makes it a lot harder when I'm on the plate. And then this pitch, and this pitch I can get to a lot easier than being off the plate. Right. So I can still get great extension as long as you're not chasing stuff there and chasing stuff that's inside, but stuff inside is right. pretty much a ball so, no matter what. So are you hunting Are you hunting the fastball? Hunting the fastball 100% of the time. 100% of the time. Of the time. And letting Basically, this situation dictate itself, but it's always fastball, fastball, fastball. The best way to hit a curveball is hit the fastball, exactly. right? That's exactly. what everyone says. So, no doubt about it. Um, and then you just you have to have that plate discipline. You yeah. have to have the eye and be disciplined enough to to not swing at the pitches off the plate or the pitches in off the plate and right. just control the strike zone. Okay. Okay. Now, one other question for you. I, I thought it was. I, I think it's fascinating. Last year, you know, watching you with two strikes. I, I think you, you know you. you it's funny to see you mature as a player. Like you're gonna now, you're like, okay, I'm putting it in play, but you still drove it too. You would choke up, right? But you were still able to shoot one to left, drive one to right. Take us through that. Why, why, why do you choke up with two strikes? Uh, it just came to a point where I was really sick of striking out. <laughs> so I would just I get the foot down really early and just really just let my hands work. Right. And by getting the foot down, it eliminates a lot of movement. Two strikes, you know, they could throw that that good pitch, right. that nasty pitch, and if I foul it off, I win. Because right. the odds are a pitcher's not gonna throw two or three of those in a row. It's right. just, it's not hard, not it's not easy to do. If they right. did it, they're all Cy Young, right? right? That's the way I look at it. Right. Uh, these guys pretty much do that all the time, but I go with the mentality that, there's, okay, he just threw his best curveball. There's no way he could throw that again. Right. And that's the mentality. And if he does? And if he does, does, and it, Hopefully I can foul it off again. Right. Just get foul it pitch. until Live he for makes that pitch. mistake. That's it. Yeah. Just get to the next pitch. I, while I'm here, I got to flip you a couple. I just want to see you rake, rake a couple right. of the outfield. Hit, see, it where, hit it wherever you can. See what I could do. Oh, that was a bad, bad yeah. toss. Nate, so that's a good hitter. Good hitter goes back Go up, up the, the middle. middle. A absolute, absolute monster. There we go. Oh, there we go. My, now we're talking. It's my no, dad's favorite drill. Is it really? Side toss. So you guys would do this like when you're growing up? Your, your dad would be like, here do we it. go? Yeah. And usually in the off season, I'll, I'll let him do it a couple Still times. Still now, just to make him happy. <laughs> yeah, get him, get him his, his kicks. Oh, that's nice right there. All right, last one. Let's go two strike approach on this one. Right, two strike approach, choke it up. Oh, look at that, see that, and and left center. All right, that's what we did the side flips for your dad. Yes, Mr. Rizzo, that yep. one's for you, brother.